Welcome to Whiteboard Project Management channel. In this channel, you will learn the tools and techniques used in the project management in a practical way. Prepare your white sheets, grab your cup of coffee, hit subscribe, and let's start the session. Welcome back to Whiteboard Project Management. In this episode, you will learn the differences between managing a large EPC project versus the outage projects. What are the outage projects? Or what are the refinery turnaround projects? What are the differences between managing both projects? Briefly, we will discuss it on the whiteboard. As I explained, we have the EPC project And we have the outage project. The outage project, sometimes it's called turn round projects. So what does this mean? When we have an EPC project, we have a complete new projects The the client need to create something new from the beginning, from the engineering, procurement, and construction. And it's, look, it's called also a turnkey project. So it's, this is a turnkey, turnkey project. While the turnaround or outage projects are projects for a refinery, for a factory, which is ongoing. The factory, or the refinery plan to make some outage of the unit to stop the unit from operation and to create some modification, some replacement, some maintenance on the place which is required to be maintained and for the place which is shut it down. So it's a shutdown or it's an outage or they call it a turnaround project. This is a planned outage for a specific place of the unit. So if we have a unit here, we have a specific place to be shut down and the outage will affect only here. While here we have complete new project to be created. So you can see the differences. Okay, let's talk about the management between both. If you have a project, EPC project, this is simple. You can go through the episode, which is the managing EPC projects, and you can know the details of managing EPC projects. So here in this episode, I will not discuss more details about uh, EPC projects. APC projects, we know the start and end, the engineering, the procurement, we need to plan, we need to execute, we need to monitor and control, and we need to close. Same as in outage projects, but what you need to take care of this type of projects, that planning, you need procurement, you need resources, you need the quality, and you need variations and costs. Those are the factors which you need to take high monitoring activities on them. Why? Because in outage projects, you have a specific start and specific end. So the duration here, D, is given, let's say, three days. 
during these three days, you need to, to do everything because you are not the only one working in this place during those three days of outage. There will be a lot of other, maybe contractors, will be in the same place. And you need to execute your activities in proper way. That means you need to make sure before you start with your project that you had planned everything properly without mistaking to make it as much as possible to be accurate. You need to make sure that everything is procured and everything is delivered to the site. Everything is on site. There is nothing missing. And to ensure that you had purchased some spare parts, spare items in case of failure. You need to make sure that all your resources required for this project are available. Resources means human resources, means material resources, means machinery resources and all kind of resources. Quality, you need to make sure that all work to be done during those three days with highest quality. There is no way that you are doing this with poor quality because later you might not get the access to this area after completing the outage duration. You might not get the permit to work for hot works, let's say. And you need to continuously check the variations because during this type of projects, the variation on site is normal way. So you need to monitor them, you need to register them, you need to report them daily to, to the client during your daily outage meetings. And you need to check the cost which is required for those activities. Once the outage start, you have your time schedule properly planned and you can execute your project and monitor it on daily basis. Need to be monitored on daily basis. The outage, the update of the time schedule must be on daily basis to make sure what are the upcoming tasks, what are the forecast for the next day to coordinate with the other contractors. Once the activities are finished and you can hand over, you make sure during the construction work or during the, this outage work that you are checking your punch list regularly and inspecting what you are installing with your client. This will help you after completing the, the outage time that you, are, you have no punch list or at least you have minimum punch list and you are avoiding liquidation damages to the client. What are the liquidation damages? Those are damages because if you don't do your work properly with quality, you might affect the client with his productivity for this part. Once the duration time is finished, the outage is finished and the unit is back, is back to be operated, then the situation is completely different, then you don't have the work permit and you have to apply for new work permits according to the new conditions on site. You might have here some gases which can, could affect your work and you are very limited with what you can do and that the work after the outage might be more costly on you than before the outage. So make sure that during the planning of this such project, you need to properly plan it, properly execute it. I have a simple graph which I want to show to you. If I have a normal EPC project, I have initiating, planning, and then I have executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. So initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling and closing. If I have an outage, I could say, yes, you have initiating, you have planning, you have executing, 
you have monitoring and controlling and you have closing. So you can see that the amount of planning and you have the amount of monitoring and controlling is much higher for the outage projects than EPC projects. This is my advice for you once you are nominated as a project manager for outage projects or for turn, turnaround projects, make sure that all your planning, all your uh, procurement, all your resources, everything is prepared and you are really ready and all your design documents are approved. Everything is set, the method statements with the client, the risk assessments are discussed with the safety officers. Everything is discussed prior to start with the work. Once day zero is started, then you just execute. Everything know what to do. Everything know where have to be and what to uh, do. This is important and this is the simple difference between the outage projects and APC projects. APC projects are unique projects and need to be monitored properly, yes, but outage projects are different. They are short, they are quick, and you have to work from early morning till late night to make sure that everything will be finished just in time with no variations. This is simply the outage projects and the project management for such projects. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.